Hey everyone, I am Nitij and this is another video of the multi-part series about the best practices that we should always try to follow uh, whenever we are working in the JavaScript language. Now in this video I am going to explain about these four good practices. The first one is uh, use of CDN with hash keys. So whenever we have to import an external resource into our application and the resource could be either a JavaScript file or it could be a font file it could be an image file so whenever we have to do that we simply host the resource on the hosting server and then we simply in case of a JavaScript file we create a script tag and then in the src attribute we write the path of the code file so for an example if we are loading the jQuery code library then we simply create a script tag at the end of the uh, body tag and then we simply load it from the file system but it is best to use a content delivery network to do this because CDNs provide so many benefits of using them the most important one is that uh, when so many different applications are using content delivery networks to load external code libraries then there is always a possibility that if our application is loading for the first time then the resource which we are loading from a CDN has already been cached by the browser from another application so the load time of our application uh, will be lower and the user experience will simply increase so how to use a CDN so if we want to use the CDN of jQuery then the best way to do it is to simply search in the Google something like uh, jQuery CDN so I'm going to go to code.jquery.com and in this website there are different versions provided so I'm simply going to use the jQuery's latest version of uh, 1.x and I'm going to use the minified version so when I click on the minified link then there is a script tag and what we simply have to do is we just have to copy this script tag and we have to paste this tag in our code now there is a risk that the uh, content delivery network could get compromised by a hacker or a malicious user and uh, they could insert some uh, malicious code snippet into the in, into the script files which the CDN is hosting and our code might execute that code so it, it could be a big security flaw and to counter that there is uh, an, in an integrity attribute which we could add to the script element and this integrity attribute simply contains the hash key so what will happen is uh, this hash key is uh, is created based on the uh, content of the of the code which is inside the file which we are loading so in essence the entire content of this file is hashed and we are comparing or the browser will simply compare the the new hash of of the content of this file with the hash which uh, we which we have supplied to the web page and if the hashes are uh, not matching then the resource will simply not be loaded by the browser and if the hashes are matching then the resource will get loaded so this is a good security feature which we could add to our, our application when we are using a CDN uh, a CDN provider or a content delivery network and after that we have the scripts at the bottom now scripts at the bottom scripts should be put at the bottom simply because uh, whenever we have so many uh, HTML elements in our web page and if we have the script tags at the top and the head then what will happen is the browser will first load the scripts and uh, until the scripts are loading the elements will not be passed by the browser so uh, the user experience will degrade because the user will not uh, simply see anything on the web page until the scripts are loading 
and these scripts could be uh, very large in size and it could be it could take uh, a couple of seconds for the script to load entirely and then the browser will start to load the HTML elements and a couple of elements uh, worth of weight is a deciding factor for the user to leave your application so we should always uh, put the scripts put the, put the script tag at the end of the page and we should allow the user to see the initial content the initial offering of your of your landing page so yeah this is another good practice it is basically re related to both the javascript and the html page uh, but since uh, it is uh, related to the script tag in general uh, i think this is a javascript best practice okay now comes the fast string concatenation all right so let's suppose that i want to concatenate uh, different uh, dif different words and i want to create a, s a string out of it or out of all those words so let's say we have a variable message and i'm creating this message by using a number of different words so let's say the words are hello plus how plus r plus u and in some cases uh, these white spaces are also uh, concatenated in uh, in, in, a, in a separate using a separate plus operator and there could be so many different areas uh, in which we have to uh, concatenate a string and we we need to uh, get the result out of the uh, concatenation operation but there is a faster way to do that and that is to use an array so what we can do is we can simply create an array and I'm going to name it message array equals to an empty array and then we simply have to keep pushing the individual words inside the array so the first word is hello and then similarly we can push the rest of the words hello how are and then finally you and then what we can do is we can simply get the new string or the or the string constructed by using these words from the array by simply joining the array and that could be done by calling message array dot join now join accepts an argument for the separator and for the separator I'm simply supplying a white space so there will be a white space after every character and we will get our concatenated string now this method is faster than this one so make sure that if you are uh, you if you are doing the concatenation of uh, a large number of words then it is always better to use an array and then finally joining the array using a white space character as a separator instead of using the plus operator on individual string or individual characters all right so the last one is raw js instead of library code this one is also very important so let's suppose that we have a jquery in our code and uh, we also have an html element which is div whose id is let's say container now instead of using jquery to get the reference of this div what we should do is we should simply use javascript uh, get element by id to get the uh, element reference so this is the jquery way and this is the javascript's way so why we should do that uh, because jquery is simply calling javascript code internally to get to get the reference of the of the div and if we are not doing anything uh, complicated with the div like uh, if we are not uh, subjecting the div to the advanced operations of jquery library like some 
some kind of animations or some kind of complicated uh, templating then uh, we should try to use the jQuery to get the reference instead of using jQuery to do that and it will be faster than jQuery and this also applies to so many other different places like we can also uh, instead of uh, using the jQuery to get the elements which belong to a single tag let's say that we have multiple divs and we are using uh, jQuery to select all the elements or to get the reference of all the elements we can simply use uh, document dot get element by tag name and I'm not really sure what the exact name was I think yes it is tag name and that's it so the idea is that uh, whenever we don't need to use an external library to do something which could be easily done by using equal and JavaScript code then we should always prefer the the JavaScript version instead of the library version so that's it folks uh, that's all for now. I hope that you will find this video informative and thank you for listening to me. Have a nice day